This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. Right now, I am on level 6A, Patrol Buster A. Let's see what we have. Goals. Defeat the ogres. Your hero must survive. That makes sense. Clean code, of course. You now have access to the powerful, to the powerful if statements. Check the method section in the middle of the screen for extra information. If statements are a fundamental tool for programmers, create them by typing. And this is the example. So here we set a new variable. Our hero looks around to find someone. And then we use this if statement to check if there's an actual enemy. Because we're creating this variable, if our hero finds nearest enemy, if our hero looks around and says, wait, there's no enemy, well, then enemy still exists. It just equals nothing. Our hero looked around for an enemy, said, nope, nothing. So what this if statement does is say, hey, does enemy equal an enemy or does it equal nothing? And if it equals an enemy, the code inside of these brackets runs. So if there's an enemy, if that is true, we attack. If it's not, we just skip over it. It just, the computer skips this code, anything between these brackets. So if, and then we have parentheses, you need to put whatever you're checking here and then bracket and bracket. The code in between the brackets is what runs if our if statement is true. All right, let's see what they have for this level. Remember that enemies may not yet exist, all right? And that's why we're checking. So first off, we have the wall true loop and same deal here brackets so anything in between the start of this bracket and look if i touch if i click near it it shows me the end by highlighting this down here anything in between this bracket and this bracket is going to repeat forever that's what happens with our wall true loop now here we say variable enemy equals hero find nearest enemy so like i just said our hero is going to look around well first we create this variable called enemy like in math, when a variable like x can equal a number, right? So x plus 1 equals 3. What does x equal? Well, if x plus 1 equals 3, x must be 2. That's x being a variable. x doesn't mean x. It really means a number. Enemy doesn't mean enemy. It's going to mean something. So we create this enemy variable and we say, hey, hero, look around. Find the closest enemy. So if our hero looks around and finds, well, nothing, then enemy is going to equal nothing. If our hero finds an enemy, then enemy equals, well, whatever that enemy is. Our, that enemy now has the new name, enemy. And this can be anything, right? So I can name this uh, Fred. Or, so if our hero looks around and finds an enemy, that enemy's new name is Fred. If our hero finds nothing, Fred equals nothing. It can also be like math, x. If our hero looks around and finds an enemy, x equals that enemy. Otherwise, it equals nothing, right? Or y in math. I'm going to leave it as y for now just to demonstrate this. Now, our if statement. I have to change this, though. If is checking the variable. If says, hey, is there something here? Well, if our hero looks around and finds nobody, y equals nothing or undefined. So our if statement says, hey, does enemy equal something? Or does y, which is my new variable, equal something? If it equals an enemy, it will run all of the code in between this bracket and this bracket, whatever's in here. If y does not equal an enemy, if our hero looks around, finds nothing, and says, okay, y equals nothing. If y equals nothing, it skips the code. So if y equals an enemy, it runs, it's true, and it runs. If y does not, it's false, and it skips the code inside there and just keeps going with whatever's below it. So if there's an enemy, we're going to attack. Are these ogres? If they're ogres, we need to attack twice. So let's see. Yep, it says defeat ogres. So let's make sure to attack twice. And again, I changed my variable just to demonstrate how a variable works. I'm going to now change it down here, because if I changed it up here, you have to change it throughout. All right, and let's run. Mm. All right, and notice our hero names these all Y. This is looking good. I'm going to hit submit and see how we did.
Excellent. Mission accomplished.